day two and the sun was shining in Cascais and with it came the wind. Finally, the stunning pictures the America's Cup is all about. In the only fleet race of the day, Emirates Team New Zealand took a different route after the first mark. It paid off until Man overboard. Grinder Winston McFarland lost his grip as his winch handle broke. You feel like you let the guys down when you uh, leave them in a tough position like I did today. You know, they're tough boats to sail with five people, let alone four. On the last leg, upwind Emirates struggled, one man down. This was the moment Oracle Racing Coots managed to cross just ahead, winning the race ahead of the Kiwis and Oracle Racing Spithill. In a 40-minute race, the top three finish within 23 seconds of each other. We had a little mishap losing a crew member over the side um, at the last uh, rounding or second last rounding mark, and that slowed them down, you know, quite a lot upwind, and and uh, you know opened the door, and we were happy to walk through it. Next up, the AC 500 speed trials, something completely new to the America's Cup. The teams pushing as hard as they could and accepting the luck of the draw with the wind, at times getting pretty close to the spectator boats, and with an incredible recorded speed of 42.35 kilometres an hour, Emirates Team New Zealand were crowned the fastest. We've had four, uh, four fleet races now and then the speed trial, which is pretty new for a lot of us, and um, yeah, I, you know, number of boats out on the water today was, uh, was unbelievable. On overall points, the Kiwis took first place in the Cascais AC preliminaries. There's no racing tomorrow and Tuesday, the Cascais AC Match Race Championship starts on Wednesday.